Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the day 27 problem from June Lead Coding Challenge. Perfect squares. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a positive integer n, find the least number of perfect square numbers which sum to n. In example 1, number 12 can be made adding 3 4s. In example 2, 13 can be made by adding 4 and 9, so we return 2. Let's see the dynamic programming approach to the problem. The algorithm will look like this. For step 1 to 3, we will initialize two arrays. One of size n plus 1 with max and tj values, while other of size root square root of n plus 1 with square index as value. Now we will loop from 1 to n and find the minimum number of square needed to make the number i. We'll store minimum value for each number and reuse it while calculating for other numbers. At the end, we will return the value at last index. Let's take n as 12. We will initialize array of n plus 1 and update values to max of integer. Now we update value at 0 to 0. Now we initialize an array of size square root of n plus 1 and fill it with the square of their indexes. We will now loop for all numbers from 1 to n and find the solution for each. At each iteration, we keep the result in dp of i while reusing the previous results stored in the array. Starting with i equal to 1, we will iterate from 1 to square root of n plus 1 and follow the condition. For s equal to 1, we will find the minimum value and update dp array. Now as i is less than value at s in square array, we break the loop. This is logically correct as 1 cannot be created with 4 or any other higher square. So we have already found the minimum value and need not to go any further. Now we'll find the minimum value for 2. For s equal to 1, we check the condition as it is false, we apply the minimum finding method. This updates value to 2. Again, as 2 cannot be formed with any higher square, we break the loop. Continuing with it after looping till 11, the array will look like this. For i equal to 12 and s equal to 1, the value updates to 4. Moving forward, it updates to 3 and then for s equal to 3, it updates for 2. Now the condition becomes true and so we return 2. The time complexity is O of n multiplied by square root of n while the space complexity is O of n. Here is the code snippet for the method. Now coming to a more optimized but a mathematically theorem based solution. We will be using Lagrange's 4 square theorem which says that every natural number can be represented as a sum of 4 integer squares. However, this theorem does not tell us directly the least number of square to decompose a natural number. To get away with the least number issue, we will use 3 square theorem. It states that a number which is not of a following form can be expressed as sum of 3 squares. First we check if the number n is of the form. If so, we return 4 directly. Otherwise, we check if the number is of a square number itself or the number can be decomposed into the sum of two squares. In the bottom case, the number can be decomposed in the sum of three squares, though we can also consider it decomposable by four square by adding zero according to the four square theorem, but we are asked to find the least number of squares. The time complexity is O of square root of n, while the space complexity is O of one. Here is the actual code snippet from the method. Also check out the link to the Java code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.